That's how it works. And yes, it works. This is a good thing about unit testing. In our last video, we spoke about stateless processing and we learned how to use topology test driver to test our topology. And now we're going to go deeper into the stateless operations that Kafka streams offer. Now let's go ahead and create a second test scenario. So let's see what was the second scenario. Given a non-English command, when processed correctly, then I receive a parse voice command in the recognize commands topic. Good. So let's copy this for our test description. Let's say void test scenario 2. We have to add the test annotation and the display name annotation. Now we are all set for our second test. Let's just copy and paste the basic test structure because it might be very similar but now instead of having a english voice command we're going to have a spanish voice command let's say spanish from argentina and and now we will also have to translate our voice command so i guess we're going to have to create a new mock let's go up here let's say mock private um, translate service translate service let's go ahead and create an interface no i don't want a class i want an interface so here we have our new interface and let's create a method which could be it will return a parse voice command for sure and let's call the method translate it will receive a parse voice command because we have already parsed it uh, let's call it original no that's it so we're set with this now let's create the expectation for our voice command let's say that our speech to text will return shamar a juan which is call john in spanish and now we have to create a second parsed command let's call it translated and let's say here it will be translated to call one now we have to add the expectation given translate service dot translate parse voice command one will return translated voice command so now we're all set for our new test. What is it that we want in this case? We want to get the text uh, call one. Let's put it in lowercase. So this should be the text. Now let's run this. And as expected, it has failed. We expected call Juan, but it was Shamara Juan because it wasn't translated. Now we have to add the code into our topology to actually translate the message. So back into our topology class. So now we want to translate the Spanish message, but we don't want to translate all the messages because if we get an English message, we just want to keep it as English. So what should we do? We're going to split our stream. We're going to create two branches. So let's say branch. And the predicate will be if the value is um, dot get 
language starts with n so if it starts with n it means it's in english so in this case we don't want to translate it and we're going to say branched as um, english also we have to add here named as we can say language sorry language and a hyphen and we have to create another branch which will be our default branch so everything that is not English is going to be in our default branch and let's just say branch as non English and this we have to extract it as a map so we can call this uh, streams map now from our streams map we're going to get the language non-english and we are going to map values again because we want to transform the values we want to actually translate the text so oh and actually i had to add the translate service so this is good translate service translate service and let's add it to the constructor so we have the translate service now translate and it will receive the value and it will return the translated value this is good and uh, what we also want to do is merge this stream with the english stream so streams map dot get and we are going to uh, get the english one which is language english and finally we're going to send it to the same topic so this is fine now back in our test we forgot to oh no we have it so we have the inject mox so everything is there so i guess we can run our test let's see what happens okay so our test failed and um, let's see why it seems there was an exception and because yeah string starts with string wow we forgot to add the language yeah we forgot the language here so language should be n us in this case and also in our second test we have language should be s r and in here it should be n us so now if we run it again let's hope it works and yes it works this is a good thing about unit testing you can figure out different bugs that you have in your code and you get that excitement when your tests are all green <laughs> let's talk about what we did here so the first thing is we used the split operation to transform our stream into multiple streams so now we created two branches and the good thing about this is that these are all stateless operations so our processing still remains stateless when we use the split method and we send named as what we're saying is we're going to use this prefix for all our branches so language hyphen then when we create our branches what we add here is a lambda expression that I call a predicate which is a lambda expression that will return a boolean value and the other thing is we send the suffix for the branch so the complete name of the branch will be language hyphen English in this case then we can send a default branch so everything that does not match this is going to be caught by this branch 
So we want all other languages to end up here and this branch we called it non-English. So the name when we want to get this branch is language hyphen non-English. And then we added a new map values operation, which is a stateless operation. And finally, we used the merge operation, which is also a stateless operation. The only care that we have to have with the merge operation is that the streams that we are going to merge have to have the same key and value types. In our next video, we're going to finish our last two test scenarios using the branching operation to send data into a different topic and also the filter operation to discard some of the events that we don't want to process. I'll be waiting for all of you in our next video. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Bye!